Jenny here from Copy What I Use for Teenage Anxiety and Revision. And with the COVID-19 situation creating so much anxiety in our teenagers, I thought I'd create a video today sharing some tips on ways that I've actually found handy and useful in trying to reduce anxiety in my own teenage daughters. Because for those of you who follow my channel, you'll be aware that my eldest daughter was diagnosed with severe OCD. And my younger daughter also suffers from anxiety, particularly around revision time, hence why I started this uh, YouTube channel. So in today's video, I thought I would focus on what we found out from one of Danielle's doctors, which was a way of actually creating what they call an anxiety box or a sensory box. And it's whereby you actually uh, put some items into a box that reminds you of the different senses, because it's known that appealing to your senses actually helps reduce anxiety, particularly in teenagers. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a quick uh, way of how to create an anxiety box, or we can call it our lockdown box or whatever you want, to actually help reduce anxiety and stress in our teenagers during this very challenging time. Because let's be honest, it's challenging and hard for us um, adults to know how to cope with it, let alone teenagers who already suffer with massive anxiety. Because what's come to my attention over the past few weeks is how many young people are struggling with their mental health, which is what I was always afraid of when lockdown began. So, okay, so without further ado now, I'll show you how to make your very own sensory box or anxiety box or lockdown box or whatever you want to call it to reduce and to help reduce um, your child's anxiety around this uh, challenging time. Okay, so I'll pause the video for now and then I'll restart it then to show you how to create your own box, okay? Okay, welcome back, okay? So this is the actual box that I've got. It's just an ordinary cardboard box. You can use any box that you want, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so I've opened it up and inside you can see I've got some of these jiffy sort of bags. So that's a nice one for feel, you can have a good pop. I mean, obviously every item we're going to put in there covers the, the touch side of it because we're going to touch them all. So let's just go through it bit by bit. So for the site, you could have a pack of playing cards to play some cards. Nice photograph, like I always tend to like the dog. So if you want the dog, you could put from your favorite holiday spot or anything that evokes happy memories, any photos. And there's a crossword book that you could do together because when your child is sort of down and stressed, generally, if they're anything like mine, even though they're teenagers, they still like to do things one-to-one -one with me. It's actually having that quality time, so make sure you can allocate some time to do these things with them as well. Then for the taste bit, I've got the obvious one, which is chocolate. I put an egg in today because it's near Easter and I've got an egg there. Or if you want something more healthy, there's that strawberry bar, which is healthier. Um, or cereal bar, anything, whatever your child tends to like. Or my eldest one loves coffee, so I actually put cappuccino in there. Um, a good tip on that one as well is you can get coffee beans as well for the smell and very often I've just given her a coffee bean to smell if she's become particularly anxious. Okay for the here inside um, I tend to put in a playlist. Those of you who follow my social media channels and know that my daughter's a mad on Beyonce especially the eldest one and she's always singing Beyonce because music is really good therapy when she's anxious. So I tend to put a playlist, I mean obviously you just choose whatever is your child's favourite artist and pop a playlist and then just pop it onto your uh, radio or onto your phone or anything you want to use then for the music side or Alexa, Alexa if you've got Alexa. And then that is an um, instant calm and I find music. Okay, um, so there we've dealt with the touch, we've got the hearing and we've got the sight. Now we've got the smell. Now again, like I said, the coffee beans will smell. Um, also, there's a candle. Again, mine like a nice candle burning if they're feeling stressed. Or oh, there's a face mask, which will not only help them to relax, they'll also feel it when they put it on, but also there's the scent that comes from them as well, which makes them feel good. I mean, there's so many different things that you can put in this, really down to your own preference. If yours like sort of uh, mindfulness with colouring and things, put some colouring in there. If you like a relaxation tape, put a relaxation tape. It's really down to knowing your child and what sort of things lift them up. But the main thing is to make sure you sit down together and do it with them so you actually give them some of your quality time as well. Okay, so that's just a few of the things that I put in a sensory or an anxiety box to try and help reduce anxiety with my teenagers. And hopefully then it'll help if you've got any teenagers who are struggling with anxiety, particularly during this lockdown time with COVID-19. Because I'm aware more and more children are getting very, very stressed and suffering mental health during this time. 
Hence why I decided to pop this video on of ways that I have found that have helped with my own children's uh, anxiety. Oh, and one last one as well we've been doing lately since the lockdown, which has been really popular, is actually doing a quiz. So I'm going to have to put some let, um, questions there. And another one they particularly like doing, mine are really good at this actually, was um, you can just print them off Google. They're just famous faces and just get them. You can just do a quiz of the family to see who can get the most. And what we've been tempted to do as well, which makes it even better, is we've been actually zooming uh, family members and doing a family quiz. So that's helped to lift them up as well. All right, so that's just a few tips of how to um, reduce anxiety in teenagers by creating a censure or an anxiety box, or you can just say you could even call it a COVID-19 lockdown box, whatever you want to call it. But um, hopefully it's helped you, and if it has, please pop a like on there. And if you try anything out different or you put something different in your box, please pop a comment in there. I'd love to hear your suggestions because we're all in this together, as they say, and I'm just on a mission to just try and help young people who are suffering with their mental health right now because I know from experience it's a really difficult thing to go through with your child. All right, so that's it for today's video. Tomorrow I'll post some tips on how to reduce teenage anxiety through food. Okay, till tomorrow.